Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you a procedural fire shader made by Simon Thomas. This is the second node uh, shader that Simon has made that I've talked about. He makes amazing products. I'm going to link his website in the description where you can go download this, but let's show you how it works. Okay, so to import it into your project, you would go to File, Append, and then you would go and find where it is. It's called Burn V1, and then once you're in there, you click Material, and then it's right there. And then to access it, Say you click on a mesh and right here in the materials, this will drop down and burn is right there. Okay, so let's jump into the shading window here. This works in Cycles and EV as well as Blender 2.79. It works in all of those, so that's really cool. So first let's drop it down and add it to our piece. So here it is. This is the whole thing. It's really, really simple. Um, Simon really designed these well just for people who are beginners and just don't understand nodes. So this is perfect for anybody. So let's hit Z, click Look Dev, and then let's wait for it to load. Okay, so our first problem when you're in EV is this right here. It's just super pixelated. The way to get around that is you go to your EV settings right here on Volumetric, put your tile size at two, and then now it works. Uh, some computers can't handle tile size of two, so put it at four, but then you still get some pixelation. Uh, in cycles, it looks a thousand times better, but just for the tutorial reasons, we're going to stay in Eevee because it works better. So first, one thing I like to do is switch my size mod to one or two. It looks much better in my opinion. It just looks like better fire. All right, so let's start at the top, black body. Uh, it's hard to describe what this does. It's it's kind of visually does its own thing. It's a lot wider. And then here, it's a lot more of a vibrant, deep orange. So black body looks really nice. Then we have power. That one clearly works that way. Kind of gives you those highlights. And then noise is something I don't really touch. I keep it at this, but it gives you all of that. So depending on your project, how your fire will be reacting with your scene, you'll turn up the noise. I keep it around there. And then we have detail. Detail's very cool. This one, low detail and high detail, they both look really good. They're just, they look different. It's not like this looks like a low quality flame. It's just a less, you know, less, almost looks like the noise. But, you know, it, it visually kind of describes itself. Then there's spread. Gives you just a little bit of flame or a lot of flame. Of course, it only stays in your object, so you, you would want to scale it up to do that kind of thing. Clipping, what it seems to do is sort of stay in a box shape when you bring it all the way up or all the way down stays in this sort of good shape of a flame. I keep clipping all the way down. It's there by default. Oh, as well as we have this color up here, so you can get whatever color flame you want. You don't have to stay with the traditional red flame that everybody knows. All right, time mod. That works. That is for the the animation. I can't show you the animation because it looks really bad in the EV real time, but I'll show you how that kind of looks. It just sort of like overlaps on itself. That's how the real time works with volumetrics. But on the website, you can see it working like this, this is how it animates. By default, it looks really good, looks realistic. You can see I'm playing around with it in cycles. That's how it looks in cycles, by the way. I don't wanna overload my laptop here for the preview, but that's how it kind of reacts. And this is how it animates by default. So you can add it to some of your animations and it works perfectly. And then the last thing I already showed you was size mod. Uh, gives you like, you know, like a candle flame or you know a very sort of bonfire looking f flame i keep it at one for most of my stuff but yeah that's it that's the that's the shader it's really really cool really useful and it's amazing that it's free so go to simon's website i hope i'm saying his name right because it's spelled differently than i'm normally that i normally see but if i am saying it wrong i apologize but regardless go check it out download it have some fun with it and thanks for watching